Welcome to this week's studio vlog. I had some orders. So yeah, this happened. And that means an ink change, right? No issues, no problem. Sure, why not? So if you don't know how to change your ink on a standard cartridge, uh, I do have a video for that. But here's a really quick preview. You take out the ink with a needle and well a syringe I should say and then you put it inside the cartridge and now I had a little bit of a troubleshoot <laughs> if uh, you're gonna see black one pretty well you take off the sticker so yeah once you get your sticker removed you're able to put it in the hole that is right there for the black cartridge it's very standard very easy you have to get rid of the bubbles and I created a mess, oh my god. Just remember to put a towel when you get rid of the bubbles. And then I had a problem with my poker. It broke because when it's a new cartridge, you have to insert new holes. You should use a tiny little drill bit and do it by hand. So this is my mess and these are my messy hands. I really need to get gloves that I could reuse. And then this happened. Oh my god, guys. I was very puzzled. I had to do a lot of nuzzle checks. I added more red and I got lines and then the full pink magenta look there. And slowly we got this, which was a different color from what I usually have, but a line straight out through the apple, which I don't know why. More nozzle checks, more maintenance stuff, and I finally got my product. I'm so excited to show you my new order. It has a beautiful flip. Um, I have three notepads for this order. I hope the teachers are going to love them. And yeah, I'm so happy with my little apple. I add a cellophane bag to protect the product. And it's a very simple procedure. You just fold it back and then tighten it so the sticker doesn't fly too much around. And there you go. Oh, I find it so cute. I hope they love it. I had some little problems still with my printer. If you guys know what to do, like the first part is a little more gray green, which I don't know why it starts about near the chin area of this flower. I don't know. Well, at least my new stickers turned out really great. And then I have these pretty little stickers I also want to add. Let's cut them up. You see, this is my beautiful stickers, yay! And I'm thinking of making another like floral pack with the sunflowers. I'm gonna add another maybe two flowers to add to it. I think it'd be cute. I had to prepare not one, not two, not three, but four orders last night, which made me so excited because that doesn't usually happen to me. All right, guys, thank you for listening and see you next week.